Poke fans! Poke Masterbits here, and today we will finally be reprofiling the new, improved, and edited fighting deck. That was also terrible. <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's begin. I run two copies of this Machop. I don't really have to keep them both on screen. This one chop. It is in generation, so I'm going to say which cards are expanded, which ones are standard, so you can take them out if you need to. Let's just start. Machop, 70 HP. Knuckle Punch for a single fighting does 10 damage. Eh. Then two Machokes. Don't really want to take it. There. Beat down, double fighting, 40 damage, 90 HP. One Machamp. Fighting Fury, 20 more damage. Each of your fighting type Pokemon do 20 more damage. 150 HP. Carbink Break. Safeguard. Nothing happens to this if it's by any X. Power Gem. A fighting and a colorless for 40. Carbink Break. Diamond Gift, 20 damage. Single fighting, and you attach two basic energy cards from your discard to one of your fighting type Pokemon. Pretty good, if I must say so myself. This expanded. This is expanded. Shout of Power. Attach basic energy card from your discard to one of your bench Pokemon for a single fighting. 20 damage. That's all I do with it. Two Zygarde ZX. One of them a promo. Lance Pulse. 20 plus 20 if there's a stadium. Cell Storm. 30. 60 damage. Heal 30. Do 60 for a single fighting and a colorless. Lance Rod. 2 fighting and a colorless for 100. Lucario, expanded. Uh, missile Jab, 30 for a single fighting, and it's not affected by resistance. Corkscrew sma Smash, 60, double fighting. You may draw cards in your hand until you have 6. It's basically a Shaman, except it's an attack. Yeah. Then, two different Pikachus. One from Generations of the Cuteness Full Art. Nuzzle and quick attack. Flip a coin, quick attack, flip a coin of heads, it does 10 more damage for a double colorless. Nuzzle, flip a coin of heads, is poke, the opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed for a single colorless. This one, Gnaw for 10, and Agility for 10. Gnaw is an electric, Agility is double colorless. Agility, flip a coin of heads, prevent all effects of damage. It prevents all effects of attacks, including damage into this Pokemon by your opponent's next turn. Yeah, I just use those so I can freaking evolve into my two Raichus. My two Circle Circuit Raichus. They aren't expanded, these are printed in generations. Circle Circuit is 20 damage times the number of your bench Pokemon. It can do 20, 40, 60. It can do 100 damage for just double colors. And Thunderbolt, 100, but you discard all energies. I run two of those. And final Pokemon, I run a Shaman for obvious reasons. Set up, wait. So there's a card behind it. Set up. Um, when you play this onto your bench, you draw cards until you have six in your hand. And Sky Return for double colorless. Return this Pokemon all cards attached with it to your hand. 30 damage. Then I run one Float Stone. If I can't get the Shaman, if I start off with it, and I can't get it out of the active with just Energy Retreat, I attach the Float Stone so I can get it out. Fighting Fury Belt, I always attach this to my Zygarde. I am trading for another one. Trading for another one. I traded a kid energy switch form. He was so dumb. Okay. Basic Pokemon only. I always attach this to Zygarde because it makes it a freaking tank. 230 HP. Tankiness achieved. <sighs> 40 plus HP and 10 more damage to your opponent's active. Then I run a Professor's Letter to get energies out of my deck if I don't guard in my hand. Eco Arm to get my uh, Float Stones and my Fighting Fury Belts out of the discard if they're discarded. One, two VS Seekers. I just want to show off the secret rare. You put a supporter card from your discard into your hand. Three Ultra Balls. There was two. Here's a third. Discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then, three, Trainer's Mail. 
look at the top four cards of your deck, you reveal a trainer you find there, except for trainer's mail, put it into your hand or shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Then one battle compressor to get rid of energies from your deck so that you can immediately um shout of power them and diamond gift them back into your Pokemon. Oh uh expanded. Then I run three ninja boy. Just I usually use it on my shaman if I can't get it back into if I can't get it. Um, either knocked out by me, so my opponent don't take any prizes, or, um, retreated into my hand. I usually use this on it to get, like, a Zygarde or something. I run two of those. Three of them, actually. Then I run one, two, three ends. Each player shuffles his or her card into his or her deck, then each player draws a card for each of his or her remaining prize cards. I don't understand why it says his or her, you're just wasting ink. Just say there. There! There! That, that, that's easy! Remaining prize cards, I've run three of them. And... Expandion! Three Karinas. Hang on, let me clean up my pile. Three Karinas, search your deck for a fighting type Pokemon and an item card. Reveal them and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck after. This is expanded because it's from Fury Fist and hasn't been reprinted. Then I run one, two copies of Parallel City. I usually run it with the red side facing me so I can cut my opponent's deck size. And that is epic whenever, I, um, whenever I'm facing off against a Mega Rayquaza deck. Because that just cuts their power. They can only do 90 damage, max, with the full bench if this is in play with them in the blue. Then, I run. Not really going to be able to show you guys, but you're just going to have to trust me. 10 copies of Fighting Energy. Yeah, it's 10, don't worry. I'm not, like, lying to you. And... 4... Five copies of lightning energy and my and the usual four strong energy okay then now that I have finished I can talk with you no 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 I was about to turn the camera off couldn't even save it before I did okay well now that I can now that I stopped I can talk with you guys I am making a trade with Sephismon and Poke Liz, I think. Pika Liz or Poke Liz? Hold on, I'm gonna research that right now. Peace! Yeah, it's Pika Liz. So, I'm making a trade with. Hey, it's Sephismon and Pika Liz. That's actually a clever name. Um. I am trading them Heracross EX, Heracross EX Full Art, and an AZ, regular, for a Gardevoir, a Mega Gardevoir, and a Fighting Fury Belt. And Sephismon, if you're watching this, would you mind, um, maybe, well, never mind, I got the square links already. Um, yeah, so I am making a trade with him with those, and well, the problem is that I had my, um, Team Rocket's handiwork in the trade, but then some kid at school stole them. He freaking stole them. <sighs> okay then, well, I have been going for about 9 minutes and 22 seconds, so I'm about to uh, sign off. Oh, and if every anyone wants to make a trade, go right ahead, just leave it in the comment section. I will most likely look at it, and I'll decide if it's good or not. But you, except for the exception of Sophismon right now, um, you must send your cards first. So Fizmon is, I'm sending your, I'm sending you my cards, but you all must send your cards first so I can expect, inspect them and send my cards to you. If they are not, um, like the cards I wanted or they turn out to be fake or else I, I think they're fake, I am going to send them back to you in the same envelope, just ripping off the stamp so that they'll go back to you. So that it's, like, return address. Yeah. So, 
sorry if this is too long. 10 minutes, 22 seconds. Um, well, thank you. And, uno momento, por favor. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, bye bye, Poke fans, and have a happy Hala. Hey, hey, what are you doing in here? Ah! Ah!